All right, so uh, here we are at Miami University, and today we are talking about the Vincent Chin murder and uh, the cases that uh, happened afterwards and the mobilization that, um, that was done in the wake of Vincent Chin's murder. So we're going to talk about the legacy of anti-Asian violence um, in the work of our two guests. So I'm going to introduce them, starting with... Uh, oh, I still have to scroll up. Starting with... There we go. Vanessa. So joining us from Denver, Colorado. Is that right, Vanessa? Yep. <laughs> All right, a fellow Rocky Mountain Asian American. So Vanessa is a master's candidate in higher education at the... Mortgage College of Education at the University of Denver. She is passionate about scholar activism, community engagement, and addressing issues of social justice and inequity. Her research interests focus on intersectionality within the Asian Pacific, Asian American Pacific Islander community, particularly with Southeast Asian Americans and student activists. However, much of her time is dedicated to helping in the progressive AAPI movement, both locally and nationally. She is a national speaker on Asian American collegiate activism and coalition building, recently helping to found and co-chair the Coalition of API Americans Collaborating Together to Unite the Southwest, or CACTUS, and serving as a civic engagement fellow for One Million Rising. So thank you for joining us today, Vanessa. Thank you. And we have, joining us from Ann Arbor, Michigan, I think, uh, Francis Pai Hua Wong is a second generation Chinese American from California who now divides her time between Michigan and the big island of Hawaii. She has worked in philosophy, journalism, anthropology, international development, nonprofits, and small business startups. She is a contributor, contributor for NBCNews.com, Asian America and an editor of AAPIVoices.com. Before that, she was the arts and culture editor of IMDiversity.com, Asian American Village, for many years. She wrote a nationally syndicated column called Adventures in Multicultural Living, originating out of AnnArbor.com and AnnArborChronicle.com. And she also, also contributes occasionally for New America Media's ethnoblog, Chicago is the World, PacificCitizen.org, InCultureParent.com, and HuffPost Live. She has been Executive Director of American Citizens for Justice and <coughs> Asian Pacific American Chamber of Commerce. The team teaches courses on Asian Pacific American civil rights, history, film, and media at University of Michigan and University of Michigan Dearborn. She also teaches writing and is a popular speaker on Asian Pacific American, multicultural, diversity, women, social justice, and social media issues. She has published three chapbooks of prose poetry, Imaginary Affairs, Imaginary Affairs, Postcards from an Imagined Life and Where the Lava Meets the Sea, Asian Pacific American Postcards from Hawaii, and Dreams of the Diaspora. She's been included in several anthologies and art exhibitions and has an upcoming multimedia artwork with Jyoti Omi Chowdhury entitled Dreams of the Diaspora as part of a Smithsonian Asian Pacific American Center Indian American Heritage Project online and traveling art exhibition. So let's welcome Francis. Thank you, Francis, for joining us today. So uh, let's get to uh, the legacy of Vincent Chin, both his murder and uh, the, the legacy of, of cross-racial mobilizing that he left uh, uh, in his death. So what does, first of all, what is what does it mean to you in your own particular work, and why is it important to uh, keep telling the story of Do you want to go first, Francis? <laughs> um, sure, I can. I, I guess. Okay. Well, um, um, I I I grew up in California, and I came to Michigan for graduate school originally, and I didn't know anything about the world. The only thing I knew was that Pastor Vincent Jin was killed. So I was a little bit nervous before I came. And, and really, I mean, that was one of the things I weighed. You know, should I come here for school? Is this safe? 
should I go someplace where there's more Asian Americans? And th th those are, you know, things that I thought about and considered and talked to people about. And then I came out here and then, you know, there were, I don't know, it was very different. It was very different out here than California. And so I learned a lot uh, about being Asian American, about being a person of color, about being a woman in an academic minority, which is a minority itself in an academic setting. And I learned a lot more about the case. Uh-oh, we lost Terry. Terry, are you still there? Do you think we lost him? I don't know what's going on, and it's muted too. So... Do we keep talking? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. message. Uh, yeah, Terry, are you still there? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I wonder what's going 